In addition to these uh, rulers, we also have something that is called a ruler that we use on our page to kind of see the dimensions. So let's uh, go up here to view and click on view and go down to the ruler. And we're going to click on it so that a check will appear next to it. And it's going to change so that now we see this, uh, this ruler at the top of our page that shows our dimensions. And remember, we set our page as 11 by 17. So when I zoom in, actually, you can uh, see here's the zero and then here's our 10 and here's 11. So this is kind of useful. We, if we change to like a units like, uh, let me just change the page so you can see it in pixels. Uh, if I go down to change image re resolution and click OK, I'm just going to change the units to pixels and click OK. And now we can see a lot more uh, units. And this might be useful if we needed to find, for example, the exact center of the page because it's a 60, 6600 uh, pixel uh, unit wide page. So the exact middle would be 3300. So this may be useful at some point in our career. So this will be the exact center. If I wanted to put a, a, a panel right here, like down the center, that's how I could find the exact spot. So that is the ruler. In addition to that, there's also the grid. Let's take a look. We, uh, I'm going to turn the ruler off. I usually don't have it on. It's just kind of a space waster for me. And I'm going to clear this guy. Get a new layer and go up here to view and click on grid. And it creates this grid like almost like we have a mechanical paper that you would do math on or something. And uh, you can change the settings of these little squares. You can see that there's like a big square and then there's a bunch of lighter squares inside. So to change that, just go to view and grid settings and you can change. So these are these, these squares are starting from the, the top left where that X is and you can change move this around or you can just rearrange it using the numbers and uh, I'm going to set it at top left and so the, the number of divisions is the within the square if I want to change it just to two and if I want to make the gap let's say a lot larger so you can see now it's they're two by two and they're definitely a lot larger and because it started in the top left and it didn't quite match up on the right, it has this kind of like uh, this not quite accurate fit, but you can always change that if you want. So that is a grid and this can be useful when you, I don't know, for whatever you're doing, if you want exact corners and you need a bunch of them and you can snap to this just like you can with your rulers. And let's go and make sure this is clicked and then now we can draw on it and we can even draw like diagonally like this and it'll kind of jump along. It, it creates these kind of overhangs because it's trying to decide which way you're going but um, I don't really use this too often but it could have its use if you want to like a grid for something. Anyways that is the grid setting.